Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age. Let's get inside the Chantry. See what's going on. A Marge. Okay. Good. You're finally here. Now help me close this, would you? Uh, right? Yeah, let's assist. Alright, you. Fire mine. Uh Let's do that. Gotcha. Oh, totally miss. Dang it. Stupid demons. No, I was it. No. I think we're all right. Gotcha. Fascinating. How does that work exactly? <laughs> you don't even know, do you? You just wiggle your fingers and boom. Rift closes. Who are you? Ah, getting ahead of myself again, I see. Dorian of House Parvis, most recently of Minrathus. How do you do? Watch yourself. The pretty ones are always the worst. Suspicious friends you have here. Magister Alexius was once my mentor, so my assistance should be valuable, as I'm sure you can imagine. Uh... Defender Mage, huh? I was expecting Felix to be here. I'm sure he's on his way. He was to give you the note, then meet us here after ditching his father. Alexius couldn't jump to Felix's side fast enough when he pretended to be faint. Is something wrong with him? He's had some lingering illness for months. Felix is an only child, and Alexius is being a mother hen, most likely. Are you a magister? All right, let's say this once. I'm a mage from Tevinter, but not a member of the Magisterium. I know Southerners use the terms interchangeably, but that only makes you sound like barbarians. Ha! Ah. Uh. Are you the one who sent that note, then? I am. Someone had to warn you, after all. Look, you must know there's danger. That should be obvious even without the note. Let's start with Alexius claiming the allegiance of the mage rebels out from under you. As if by magic, yes? Which is exactly right. To reach Redcliffe, before the Inquisition, Alexius distorted time itself. Did he? I hope that's less dangerous than it sounds. More. Manipulating time itself? Many have attempted over the ages, but never once succeeded. The rift you closed here. You saw how it twisted time around itself, sped some things up and slowed others down. Soon, there will be more like it, and they'll appear further and further away from Redcliffe. The magic Alexius is using is wildly unstable. It's unraveling the world. Okay. You're asking me to take a lot on faith. I know what I'm talking about. I helped develop this magic. When I was still his apprentice, it was pure theory. Alexius could never get it to work. 
What I don't understand is why he's doing it. Ripping time to shreds just to gain a few hundred lackeys? He didn't do it for them. Took you long enough. Is he getting suspicious? No, but I shouldn't have played the illness card. I thought he'd be fussing over me all day. My father's joined a cult. To Vinter Supremacists. They call themselves Venatori. Uh... And I can tell you one thing. Whatever he's done for them, he's done it to get to you. Alexius is your father. Why are you working against him? For the same reason Dorian works against him. I love my father, and I love my country. But this? Cults? Time magic? What he's doing now is madness. For his own sake, you have to stop him. It would also be nice if he didn't rip a hole in time. There's already a hole in the sky. Why would he rearrange time and indenture the Mage Rebellion just to get to me? They're obsessed with you, but I don't know why. Perhaps because you survived the Temple of Sacred Ashes. You can close the rifts. Uh, maybe there's a connection. Or they see you as a threat. If the Venatori are behind those rifts or the breach in the sky, they're even worse than I thought. <sighs> Boy, okay. Do you have any suggestions? You know you're his target. Expecting the trap is the first step in turning it to your advantage. I can't stay in Redcliffe. Alexius doesn't know I'm here, and I want to keep it that way for now. But whenever you're ready to deal with him, I want to be there. I'll be in touch. Oh, and Felix, try not <clears throat> to get yourself killed. There are worse things than dying, Dorian. Hmm. In hushed whispers, return to the war room. Yes, I think we should. Circle of Magi. Vanguard male arms, fang longsword grip. Okay. Well, I suppose we go back to Haven. Although I never did find... That, uh, that the Grey Warden. Maybe he was in the Stormland. I want to say he was in the Hedrons. Okay, do we talk to people? Let's see if they have anything new to say. Yes. No. That's enough for now. Another time, then. So now we're going to, have to deal with this cult, the Venatori. I thought the chant of life bound us all together. Oh, make her hear my cry. Seat me by your side in death. More healing drugs. Hello, everybody. Let's see how these reports went. Interestingly, the runes are Almarian origin, belonging to the tribes that inhabited Ferelden almost a thousand years ago. What is of greater interest, however, is that none of the runes translate intelligibly, meaning it is all in code. According to the translators, a reference to the Guardian also indicates an island off the northern coast. Most curious. I will continue to translation efforts and hope we can narrow this down further. Alright. In hushed whispers. Hmm. Oh, whoops. We do need to go down there at some point. Commander, leading nobles to the crater was an interesting experience. 
Mallory had to restrain a few of them physically from singing their names, sorry, signing their names on the red lyrium crystals. One of them wanted a charred corpse as a souvenir. Next time, I'd rather we drop them in the crater and left. My Captain Rylan. Hmm. Mischief, not malevolence. The servants involved were dismissed, and we have a minor reward for the effort. Okay. I swear that dude's in the hinterlands. Tell you what, let's rescue some soldiers. Hmm. Still take you. Varric. And Vivian. Probably have to level up Varric, I'd imagine. Ah. Thank you for coming. Maybe you can solve this mess. Our missing patrols are being held hostage by Avar, barbarians from the mountains. What are they doing in a bog? That's the thing. Their leader, he wants them to fight you, because you're the herald of Andraste. What do they have against Andraste? Well, the Avar think there are gods in nature, as in, the sky has a god and the forest. The Avar say you're claiming to be sent by one. And they'll challenge the will of your god with their own. I think their leader's just a boastful little prick who wants to brag he killed you. <laughs> Should I autograph something for him before he tries to behead me? They think readings for the weak. You know, scholars, lowlanders, or legion peasants. Getting to our troops won't be easy. You'll have to fight your way through undead. Wait, you're not squeamish about undead, are you? <laughs> They're not on the list of my favorite monsters. You'll want to stay out of the water, then. The Avar are holed up in the castle on the other side of the Fallow Mire. Make her willing, the Inquisition's people are still alive. Thank you, Scott Harding. Word for you. Uh... Okay. Let's try that again. Oops. Dispatch for you. Nothing is happening. All right. We'll come back later. What the What in the heck is happening? There we go. Okay, that was weird. Alright, so we have full draw, rolling draw, let's see, leaping shot, pin cushion, first blood, sure. Just grab everything in here. Alright, so we do not want to talk to her. She doesn't know what's going on. Look at a map. Fisher's End. Oh boy. Wonder if it's going to be permanently raining here. you would not be comfortable fighting alongside a mage. We use Cerebas when we need to. That is hardly the same. No, ma'am. Fighting with you is more like hitting an enemy while a dreadnought pounds their front line. All fire and smoke ahead of you. Half the enemy already on the ground by the time you get there. So I am a Canari dreadnought. I, uh, didn't mean to offend you. 
Not at all. I am Madame de Fer. <laughs> Diary of Peter Marsh. The gardeners are too sick to save, everyone says. Grandfather and my brothers barricaded themselves in their own house so they wouldn't make anyone else sick. He yelled at me for watching instead of helping. He said it was for our own good. There's no more lights in the gardener's home. Riv uh, let's see, Ravain? Nowhere in my travels, not in the heart of the Imperium, nor the streets of Ozermar, have I felt so much an outsider as in Ravain. The chant of light never truly reached the ears of these people. The years they spent under the thumb of the Cunari left most of the country zealous followers of the Kun. But resistance to the chant goes deeper than the Cunari War. The Ravani refuse to be parted from their seers, wise women who are in fact hedge mages, communicating with these spirits and actually allowing themselves to become possessed. The Chantry prohibits um, prohibition. Excuse me. Prohibition against such magical practices violates millennia of local tradition. Another late night here. Okay. Well, let us go activate that landmark. Ah, oh, God. This game just keeps throwing all these resources in my face. It's like, how do I ignore them? What? Oh! Oh, these guys are level 12! This can't be all of them. There must be more further in. Well, if those are level 12, I'm going to assume that we're not supposed to be here. Light of Andraste, commissioned in 655, stormed by illustrious Ban Hargrave, protector of the Follow Mire, to commemorate the completion of her keep and to thank Blessed Andraste for her good fortune. Yeah, I mean, I guess we can keep fighting. We did kill them pretty easily, but most likely not supposed to be here. Goodness. She said to stay out of the water. There be loot in the water. Careful. Disturbing the water draws them out. seem too bad. Probably because this is all normal. Yeah, I love me some good disease to tissue. Energize. Doesn't sound good. Ah.
Ah. We could use these. Lure those corpses out of the mud and fight on solid ground. Keep an eye out for more then. Okay. So, oh, what's this? Do we want to actually take this? No. Nah. Hmm. So we're taking the magical fire with us? I, I guess? Magic torch, magic runes. Oh. Veilfire and the Fellow Mire. The Veilfire messages in the Fellow Mire are largely gibberish and imply a kind of paranoia. Certain letters and numbers repeat. It is possible the writing is in code. These Veilfire runes are interspersed with numbers and mathematical notations. They evoke a clear sense of panic as if the author was trying to figure out a difficult problem. Alright. Okay. Maybe we go up to this camp and then we'll go somewhere else. Hello, weird things. Uh, let's see, let's just have... If you want to read this, then feel free to pause. Oh, what the... what the what? Oh man, we lost Varric. Staring at the set of unreadable runes conjures up strong feelings of bitterness and arrogance in equal measure. They fade slowly. Hmm. Right, that's our destination. Walk in the water. A decent enough place to camp, I suppose. 
Excellent. Soldier's Memorial. Note from a scout. The paper is small and thin, meant for transport by messenger bird. Warn the Herald his life is in danger if he comes to the mire. Our patrol spotted Evar three days ago. We didn't understand why they came down from the Frostback until we were captured in an ambush. The leader said they came because they heard the Inquisition was in the area. They want to lure out and kill the Herald of Andraste to win favor with their gods. I escaped, but I can't free the others without help. I found a good camping spot for a rescue party. We'll tend my wounds before heading off. Have you, sir. Hmm. That's still not working. What in the heck is going on? Well... Yeah, I guess we'll just end here and I... Th hmm. Maybe we keep going. I don't know. The level 12 worries me. <laughs> I think we need to come back here at a later time. But at least we've unlocked a port uh, position here further in. Uh, so thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Take care.